Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can you use the free OBS software along with Microsoft Whiteboard to record our classroom lectures and give our students the in-class experience. I will be showing you how to change your background, how to customize your windows, how to change your color contrast just in case you don't have enough lighting inside the room and much, much more. As you can see, I have customized my latest video for a Christmas background just because it's the holiday season. I am super excited for today's session and without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. In order to start using your OBS, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and download your OBS software. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. Usually gamers use it to make their games much more fun. Hey, if gamers are using it, why not educators, right? So go ahead and select if you're a Windows or Apple user. I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to go ahead and select Windows and click Download Installer. I have downloaded this already, so let me go ahead and show you where the exe file is. So once you download, here is my OBS Studio EXE file. Go ahead, double click on it. The installation process does not take you long and it's pretty user friendly. So once you install it, once the installation is done, you will see this OBS icon on your desktop. Go ahead and click on it and let's get started. So the first thing you need to do once you have downloaded your OBS is to go ahead and open it and then create a scene. The way OBS works is it you will have to create scenes in order for OBS to record what you want it to record. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, click on this plus sign here, and I'm going to say class room recording. So my aim here is to mimic the classroom experience for my students so that I will be standing vertically and on one side I will be having my Microsoft whiteboard so the students can have an in-class experience of how I teach. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, once I created my scene, everything is blank because OBS does not know what to record. So once this is done, you have to go ahead and define what you want it to record. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add. The first thing I want to do is add my video capture device. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm just going to give it a name, video capture device. You can change it to whatever you want. As you can see, here is my webcam, but I want my EOS utility uh, webcam. So here it is, but as you can see, it's tilted. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to right click on my video capture device. I'm going to transform it, and I'm going to transform to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So there I have it but I want it completely filled to the screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it. So if you see when I hover over these red lines, my mouse kind of changes shape to two direction. So you will be using that to either increase or decrease or minimize your video. So this is good, I like this, but if you wanna go ahead and change the lighting, the brightness, all you have to do is right click, let me go ahead and do that again. Right click, click on filters. And then here you can see you can add the filters that you want. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of color correction. I'm going to click OK. The contrast, uh, let's see. I like that contrast. I like the brightness. And I'm going to click close. And I'm going to right click again, filters. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a color key so that my green screen in the back kind of pops out. I'm going to make the contrast a little bit. So as you can see, it's much greener. I'm going to click. Um, I don't want to close it. So once this is done, what I want to do is I want to add the chroma key so I can use my green screen effect. I'm going to click plus, chroma key, click OK. And there you have it. You can change the smoothness. Oops. As you can see, if I keep going further, that's not what I want them to see. And again, use these buttons to change um, the picture quality based on your skin tone, the way you want it, the colors. So I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, similarity. This is good. No, this is good. Contrast. Yeah, I like this contrast. 
and I'm gonna click OK. But as you can see, I'm a right-hander, so I like to see my screen moving um, the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna transform it and I'm gonna flip my image vertically. This is what I like. I like it like this. So once my background is all ready, I wanna go ahead and add Christmas background to my video. So I'm going to open up my PowerPoint and I'm gonna click Insert pictures i'm going to click online pictures and i'm going to click chris miss background and let me see da, 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 where is it which one do i like i think i like i think i like this one i'm going to click insert once i have it i am simply going to right click and save the picture on my desktop I'm gonna save it as Christmas and I'm gonna click save. And once this is done, I'm gonna go back to my OBS. Now I want to add the picture in the background so it doesn't look like I'm teaching in a dark room. So I'm gonna click plus, click on image. I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna give me the browsing instructions. I'm gonna browse. I think I saved it on my desktop, scrolling down. I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna click okay. As you can see, there is my image, but it's covering my face. So I want the image to be behind my video. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on the image, drag it below my video and there I have it. But as you can see, it's not completely the way I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and alter it. I'm gonna hover over these red lines and I'm gonna drag it all the way down but I don't want my image taking the other half of my screen. So I'm gonna go back, hover over this until I get the two directional arrows, click on Alt and I will crop this all the way up to, yeah, that's good. And there you have it. I have my video, the, the brightness, the contrast is good. The picture in the background is good. Everything is good. Now what I need to do is go ahead and add my whiteboard on the right hand side so I kind of have the classroom feel. In order to do that, I will go back, click on plus. Keep in mind, my Microsoft whiteboard is a desktop app and it's already opened up so my OBS can detect what it wants to do. I'm gonna click on window capture. I'm gonna click okay. You can actually go ahead and record your entire screen. You can capture the window however you want it. This is giving me an option. It gives me which window do you want? When I click on these arrows, it's going to ask me, do you want your PowerPoint, Microsoft Whiteboard? I'm going to click Microsoft Whiteboard. And there I have my Microsoft Whiteboard. Now the Microsoft Whiteboard is completely covering my face and that's not what I want. So I'm going to click on it until I get those four directional arrows and move it to the side. This is how I like it. But if you don't want your pens showing, again, you can hover over until you get those two directional arrows. Click on Alt and scroll all the way down until you don't see those pens. I think I like it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead right on my Microsoft whiteboard so you can see what's happening. I'm going to go ahead and write something on this one. I'm going to say hello. Welcome. And I'm going to start with the problem. Just an example. X squared minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to say, please solve this. Solve this. I kind of like the Microsoft Whiteboard experience better than anything because um, the pen kind of glides. You have multiple options. But if you want to know more on how to use Microsoft Whiteboard, please click on the link that appears right above on the right hand side corner now. And I'm going to say this is just I'm just writing something top of my head so you can get the idea of how you can have the classroom experience along with your students. And but if you want to go ahead and add PDFs to your Microsoft Whiteboard, you can do that. I'm simply going to go ahead and give you an example. I'm going to add a PDF document. I'm just going to insert one page. And here I have my page. I'm going to expand it and I'm going to set it as a background. 
And then if you want to solve this problem, you can go ahead finding the median. You'll have to arrange everything. So starting from the minimum number 13, so on and so forth. So you have a complete understanding of how this is done. So you get the idea. And then there you go. Check mark one, check mark two. So you will be having an eye contact with your student along with having your whiteboard on the on the side. I kind of like this. And when I take a feedback from my students, they like this better. They feel that we are mimicking a classroom experience. Now let's go back to our OBS and stop recording. So once the recording is done, it will automatically render it and have it available to you. So let's go ahead and see where to find those recordings. You simply click on File, Show Recording, and here is the recording that I have just recorded. But keep in mind, this is an MKV file, but you want it in MP4. So it's very easy to convert this. All you have to do is go to your file, remux your recordings, go ahead, click on these three ellipses, Pick the file that you want to remux and click open and click remux. And within a second, your file will be remuxed. Let's go back into the folder. And here you have your MP4 file. You can either download it, upload it to your YouTube, to your LMS, do whatever you want with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who is really missing that in-class experience. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.